So the other day I saw that Midway had a sale on their M1 carbine bayonets. Now the uh, bayonets today are nowhere as near as um, easy to get a hold of as they were many years ago. I still remember a guy that I worked with actually had a M1 carbine bayonet uh, basically bought for like 15 bucks that he kept underneath his um, seat in the car for protection. But anyways, I saw that they had the bayonets for sale um, on uh, Midway for $40. Now they're made in Italy, which is different of course than what we had for the uh, M1 carbines for the uh, uh, World War II, but uh, whenever I bought my M1 carbine from the CMP, it actually was one that had come from Italy. So I figured I would get one and see what it looks like and see if it's worthwhile getting. So, got your box from uh, Midway that I got in the mail and they used a huge box. I just had the one bayonet in there. Look at all this packing that's in here. And one box of ammo and some parts for my Browning um, high power. So there's our ammo. And here is how the bayonet came in a plastic bag. Let's see what it says here. It looks like yeah, just military surplus, Italian, bayonet and scabbard, grade one. Now that's something we ought to talk about, grade one. Um, they're supposed to be in excellent condition, basically, according to the website. And I would say that it is in excellent condition. I had this out a little bit earlier to have a look at. And it's well worth the $40. But you can see that it is definitely a used bayonet. And right here you can see that it actually was repainted over top of an old finish. So... Um, and let's have a look on the inside here once. Now this is the first M1 bayonet that I've ever had. And you can see here, it looks like it's got a serial number on it. So it must have been serialized to the um, rifle that came with. And then there's a maker's marking over here. That looked like AET, which I believe is the Italian uh, maker for the bayonets. You can see it's got a parkerized blade on it. The blade's in excellent condition. Uh, just some rub marks on it from going in and out of the scabbard just a few times. I don't even think it's through the finish. It's just basically burnished the top of the finish. Now the handles, I believe what the, uh, from reading a little bit, um, it sounded like the original handles were the leather stacks. So the Italians just used this uh, plastic handle, which looks okay. Now these kind of look like they were used too, and probably refurbished with the, um, uh, with the bayonets. You can see there, there's like a nick out of that one. I don't see any cracks or anything. And back here in the back, you can see where it actually has it for uh, attaching to the rifle. Let's see if that'll focus in on there. So it's got two ears in the back that open up in the back to do that. The scabbard, like I said, it was refinished. But it came through without any real problems with it. You can see that it's finished, though. And I still probably would call it a uh, excellent, just because it's it probably hasn't been issued since it was refinished. So that's what you get in the box for M1 carbine bayonet for $40. Now I'm not sure what they're going for now, but I'll tell you what, on the uh, like eBay and stuff, there's some really crazy prices going out there. So this definitely was a um, uh, an economic uh, uh, alternative for getting an M1 carbine bayonet. And I brought up my M1 carbine and a couple extra things that I have here. Let me get our things out of here. Whenever I bought it from CMP, bought a lot of uh, extra magazines. And I think this one's listed as RO. You can even, people collect these guys too nowadays. Also got some Lake City um, M1 carbine ammo. We're going to have a quick look at that. That's 120 rounds in one bandolier. And it is Lake City um, 68. And I bought it actually at a time whenever it was more plentiful, uh, just to shoot it off. Nowadays, because it actually isn't as plentiful, I'm kind of keeping a hold of it and just shooting commercial stuff. Brought down my M1 carbine Italian. Now this is US made. What is it? Inland, I believe. Have a quick look at it there. See if we can get it down where you can see more of it. Very nice condition uh, M1 carbine. It of course has the uh, more modern sights on it that were very, very late war, 1945 or uh, post-war. And to go along with that, you also have the uh, bayonet lug up here. So World War II one generally doesn't have the bayonet lug unless it was a very late issue. And since we're talking about the bayonet, I'll show you how this fits on here. Like I showed you in the back, there are these two little springs that pop out. And they go around this little thing here on the uh, bayonet lug. So I fitted it once and it seemed to go on very easily. You just got to line up the front well. 
and it just pops straight on. So there, Benny, do not eat that. <laughs> My dog's trying to eat the plastic. <coughs> Excuse me, so there's your M1 carving Benny. Hang on, a little intermission while I get the dog. Do, 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 do. Bang. No, don't eat the plastic. Well, get that back. So anyway, that's what you can get for $40 for an M1 carbine bayonet. I think it's well worth the money. Much better than spending hundreds of dollars on something like this. Oh, here, we'll put it in our magazine so you can get a look at a rifle with the magazine. And... The bayonet. All right, so there you have it. One M1 carbine bayonet, Italian style. All right, thanks for watching, and out. Benny. Bad dogs. So Benny's always got to get in on things. All right, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like my videos, and out. <laughs> so bad, boy.